Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Django World. So in last video, we have seen that how user can automatically log in after registration. So in today's video, first we are going to see that how user can log out. Okay, so to do that, come to views.py which is in authors folder. Okay, now here after login, we will create one another endpoint which will be the logout. Okay, so instead of login, I will write here logout. Logout, and we are not going to return any template to this uh, endpoint. Now, after login, we need to import here logout. Logout. Now, here we will pass logout. Then here we will give request. That's it. And then we will pass success message. So messages dot success request then actual message. So you have successfully logged out okay now here we will direct read we will like directly redirect to the home page so return redirect home with small h okay after doing this we will go to urls.py file and we will register our endpoint here so path slash logout so log out slash then views dot log out and here name will be log out okay after doing this we will go to base dot html sorry not base we will go to navbar dot html now here first our user oh not that okay now here okay our user has also logged in so we are showing the username only right that's why we are seeing the a uh, username here now all we want one other the endpoint which will be log out so log out log out and here we will pass url Sorry. We are at log out. Save this. Come over here. Refresh. If you will click here, then you can see user has been logged out and you can see login and sign up code. Now, what if user wants to log in now? Then that user should not create the account again. So here we have created the login endpoint now here we can do login with two ways so i will show you the first way come over views.py now we have this login page right so here we will first import authentication form so we will import that from the auth forms and here i write authentication form so here in login method i will we'll check first we will check for post method so if request dot method is equal is double equals to post then we will assign form is equals to authentication form in which we will pass request comma data is equals to request dot post which will bring all the data which are in post method and then we will check for validation data validation so if form dot is underscore valid then we will take username so sorry username is equals to 
form dot cleaned underscore data then we will give dot get and here we will pass username and another will be password so password and i will copy same thing over here after doing that we will create one variable name as user user equals to authentic bit same thing we have done over here where is authentic bit yeah same thing which we have done over here okay so authenticate parenthesis username is equals to username comma password equals to password right after doing this we will check for the user whether that user is already having this account or not so if user is not none okay then we will login request dot sorry request comma user and we will pass message dot success you are logged in successfully okay you are logged loadable ged logged in as i will i want to show the username so i will write as in curly bracket we will write username and here since we are passing formatted string so we will write f and we forgot to write request so request and don't forget to give comma save this and then we will redirect that logged in user to home so return redirect home okay now after doing this thing we need to give another condition else condition so else we will give message error message dot error which will be i will error only and request done then after and uh, giving this else condition after giving this else condition we will give another else condition for the which will be form is equals to authenticate authentication form okay now everything has been done so this form should be here not in else condition and here it will be message error and here we will pass this username or password in incorrect right yeah so if well data is not valid then it will show us the error if data is valid then it will go inside this loop and check all the conditions okay so far so good save this come over here refresh okay we have not passed the form so here we will pass dictionary i will give login underscore form and form okay i will just copy this and i will go to authors login in here i will 
past that form. Save it, come over here, refresh. Okay, we have not saved this views.py. Now you can see we have got this form, but we need to wrap this form in post method. So form.post, I will remove this action. Method is good because we have post method and I will just pass here this. I will go CSRF token. Good. We will give button. Button will be submit and I will give us login and I will give class. Which will be btn btn hyphen primary save this come over here refresh we have got login button now i'll write admin admin and login you can see we are logged in over here and according to our condition we are also seeing this uh, admin and logout both okay now here i will just log out again we have logged out and i will go to login page but we have one more method to log in, which, which is like we will create another form here for a login as we have for sign up and we will design that form and pass it over there to log in the user. Okay, so I think this video is too long. In next video, we will see method number two for logging the user. Okay. So this is it for today's video guys. I will see you next one and if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.